guys welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video I am going to show you how you can create custom printing website. So guys without learning any programming languages like HTML and Java you can go with this WordPress platform and create your own attractive websites. So before we move further to this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Tips Pro. Before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain. And the second is you need to buy a hosting. So guys, let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser, search for domainracer.com or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com. So guys, here, I'm not going to buy the hosting because I already having it with Domain Racer and I really love their services. Also they have very great services. They have instant support as you can see the support chat is here. It means you can directly talk to them. And also you can directly contact to the salesperson if you are having any of the technical issues. So I am only going to buy the domain here. So here when you open the Domain Racer website. Here you can see the domain option. So click into this domain and then search for the domain. Also make sure while searching for the domain, search for the name which is relevant to the website. It means the keyword of your website should be in domain. So talking about custom printing website, I'll search for my print and then click into search option. So now as you can see, there's many suggestions coming up. The first one is my managed printshop.com the second is my-print.xyz the third one is my managed print.xyz so guys if you are a developer and digital marketer then i suggest you to go with the .com domain because it will show your presence globally and also help to rank your website on top so once you select this .com domain just click into this add to cart and now you can go to the web hosting but as I earlier said that I already having hosting with domain racer so I am skipping this hosting part. Now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting. So again you need to go to the domain racer website and here you can see this login option so click into this login option and here now you have your credentials to log in. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer. So use the same credentials to log into the account and once you log into your account you will see the services and products you have got from them. So you can see your active products and services here. Also once you click on the shared hosting and domain you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So guys here I am directly going to the cPanel login and enter the ID and the password and click into this login option. Now you can see the cPanel account here. Once you log into the cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to the bottom and in the software menu, you can see this option WordPress Manager by Domain Racer. So click into this option and now you can able to see on my screen WordPress Management. Also you have three options, Install, Scan and Manage Sets. So you have to click into this Install option. And now here we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So on the top you can see it's asking to choose the version. So always try to choose the latest version that will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard. And now it's coming for site name so it is my custom printing. My custom printing. And now it's coming for site description. So for example I'm clicking here is hey this is my printing site. And now you can see it's coming for ID and the password so you can change it according to your need so I'm keeping it same admin and admin and now I'll select the language which is English and uh, this is the last part we need to do is select themes so first of all you can click into the show all theme and then search for the theme which are available so it was about uh, custom printing website so I'll search for print so as you can see there's no match found so again i'll click into this all option and then select any of the theme from here only so guys i think it could be good for the custom printing website 
So guys, you can also see the demo of this theme by clicking into this demo option. So finally, I'm going to select this theme only and then click into the install option. And now as you can see, it's installing. So it might take some time. As you can see this, it may take three to four minutes. It depends upon your internet speed, how fast your internet is working. So let it be because this is the mandatory part. You cannot skip this part. So guys, we will wait some few minutes more here. Now after completing the second part, you can move to the last part, how you can customize your theme and how you can give the right and effective look to your website. So let's move to the third part guys. So now you are done with the installation part. As you can see on my screen, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. And now guys, you have given two different links here. On clicking into first link, you will be able to see how your website will look like. Now coming back to the second link which is administrative URL. From where you can go ahead to the customized website. That means it will be your WordPress dashboard. So click on this and it will redirect you to the WordPress dashboard. So guys talking about the role of this dashboard let me tell you this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website. As you can see either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely. You can also make changes from the left side like if you want to add any post then you can do it from here. If you want to add any new page then you can do it from here. If you want to manage your comments then you can do it from here. Also if you want to add any other user to handle your website then just click into this option. Now guys coming back to the website on the top you can see this option my custom printing and if you remember it was the name of the website I have given at the time of the installation. Now in the heading you can see hey this is my printing site and if you remember it was the description I have given at the time of the installation. So these all are the demo photos you can see you can also make changes to these you just need to go back to the dashboard and here you can see the option start customizing. So click into this option and now it will let you to make changes to your website. Let's suppose if you want to make changes to your header, footer, template pages, then you can click into this and from here you can, uh, if you want to make changes to your header part, then click into this header and as you can see, it's preparing interface and now you can able to make changes to your header part. Now coming back, if you want to make changes to the template, then click into this preparing interface here and now from here you can make changes to the template pages now coming back if you want to make changes to your home page then click into this home as you can see it's preparing interface and now by scrolling down you can make changes to the home page anything according to your need so guys i hope it will help you to start your own custom printing website with wordpress that's it for today Keep watching PC Tips Pro and if you have any queries then please mention it in comment box.